All right, the sun's going down quick, but I got the H501 SS all set up, ready to fly. I'm losing sunlight, so I'm just gonna do some quick flights because I need to discharge these batteries, and the best way to do it is with the quads. All right, I just plugged in the battery on the H501 SS. For you, those who didn't know this, um, you can change the way the LEDs are by holding in mode 2 the throttles lower trim stick if you long press it it will change the LEDs from either flashing like they usually do solid or not on at all so if you're gonna do a night flight it's probably best that you turn them on solid it's better for orientation and you know it's not very wise to fly at night, but, um, you know, it's just kind of cool, especially when I need to discharge the battery. And look, my controller is actually reading a correct voltage for my quad right there. Okay, so I did my compass cals. We have 11 satellites on the quad, 9 on the controller. And see they're flashing. I'm going to hold down the throttles left long press and see they will change now they're solid if you watch the screen it'll say LED switch now they're off Hold long press the lower left trim stick now they're flashing like they usually do now I'm gonna keep them on steady green is the back pink is the front take her for a little flight here all right so I got the LEDs on solid just took off another thing that somebody mentioned when you take off you must full throttle all the way up until it's airborne then you can just release the stick because it's a self-centering stick and then it will just hover you want to give it a minute to find the satellites and it's doing pretty good she ain't moving much so I'm gonna give her a little flight. I'm just discharging the battery. I really don't advise, you know, night flights. That's how people lose their quads and stuff. You can also change the LEDs while you're in flight. Hold long press to lower throttle trim. Now they're off. All you see is that blue LED that means it's recording. Now they're flashing. Now they're solid. However, I did notice, look at the screen. When you have the LEDs on solid and it's dark out, you see how the camera picks them up? Those are the LEDs, watch, I'll switch them. Now they're off. Now they're flashing and you'll see that in your video. The footage from the quad. But I'm gonna keep them on because it's at night. She's still right there doing good. All right, so I've been flying while recording for, it says three minutes and 30 seconds, but I stopped at a couple, I've been flying for about five minutes. Five minutes, there's a quad, hands free, just GPS hold. And look at my battery's red on the controller. Red for the quad, seven point zero volts i've only been flying for about five minutes so i don't know why sometimes this thing doesn't read accurately it was in the beginning once it starts flying it doesn't but you can always keep an eye on the leds they will start to turn red they will flash red when the battery gets low which it's not this says red quads leds are just fine I'm getting some pretty heavy crosswind, so she's moving around a bit. So I'm not getting that. Seven volts on the controller and the quad is fine. 